Hey, how's it going? This is Todd with No Film School. And if you're anything like me, you find the process of making social versions of whatever you're editing to be kind of a drag. It's this lengthy process of manually making edits at each cut point and then just shifting it around manually so that it fits on whatever platform you're uploading it to. And it recently came to my attention that Adobe has apparently added some features to Premiere that I didn't know about that make this process a whole lot easier. And in this video, I will show you how it works. So first off, one thing I always recommend is when you have a finished piece, go ahead and do an export with all of the music turned off. This way you can go back and make your social versions and add new music underneath and have the freedom to redo the edit however you want. So now that we have our full video with no music, we can drag our finished video into a new sequence and it's time to use an awesome new tool called Scene Edit Detection. All you have to do is right click on the clip and select it and it will analyze your clip for cuts and significant changes to the image and it will add a cut at each one. And now that we have these cuts we can make shorter versions for stories or reels, whatever we need, much easier. Now what about reframing? Well there's a new tool for that as well. Once you have your clip cut up, you can just go right up to the sequence itself in the project right click and select auto reframe sequence here we can select from all the different aspect ratios you'd need like one by one four by five nine by sixteen and once you select one it will actually analyze your sequence and reframe each clip with what it sees as the main subject of each clip at the center and it'll even add some animation to the shot so it can pan and kind of find what you're supposed to be looking at and it does a surprisingly good job and of course, if the reframing didn't go perfectly, you can actually just change the position offset yourself, or you can even click to override the animation and alter the keyframes yourself. But it definitely does a good enough job on its own to save you tons of time and headache. So now within a pretty short period of time, you can have a version of your cut ready to go for every single social platform. 